Hello and welcome to Retro Tech 100. As you might be aware, I've got a box of arcade stick. That's right. So later in the week, I'm going to build an arcade table. But first, before I start cutting holes in things, I want to make sure that these actually work. Because, you know, they're Chinese and the Chinese aren't known for their quality. So, I will put this together as is, and then you will know how to do it. I had a fiddle about with it yesterday, and it took me about 10 minutes to work out how to put the wires. So let's move all the buttons over to one side. Firstly, this cable here for the joystick goes to goes to there. Um, I had it run the wrong way at first, so that's the way it goes. I didn't get any instructions in the box, and I doubt you will either. So the exposed connections go on the back. You just push them on. I wouldn't suggest taking them on and off a lot. I don't really feel that they would last feeling it. But once it's in position, it seems, seems fine. So. Ooh. Ooh, stiff that was. So, these are keyed. It's got two little plastic tabs on them there. And that's got the corresponding... Ooh. No focus. And that's got the corresponding little tabs there. So you just hook that in. That's way around. And that's your joystick in. So, so we don't want to see the exposed metal on this side. It's on the back. And I did put it around the wrong way. Uh, but then I put it around the right way and it didn't seem to affect it at all. We didn't break it or uh, just kept on running after that. When you start hooking up the buttons, it's important that you go from this end here, not this end. This is button one. I worked out the hard way. All the buttons come loose, so they come like this, and then the wire. And all you do is hook them onto there. I've already hooked these on, I can't get them off, so I'm going to leave them on. I don't really want to break them. They're not the highest quality in the world, so I don't want to really put force on them. But I think if you put the, the tab like the other way around, it's, it's looser, but they're locked in this way. So you just hook these two to the button. doesn't matter which way around because it's just a, a button in the end. You can hook a button with uh, ground or power on each side. If you know any different, let me know, but that's what I've worked out with these buttons. And then you hook this section here. Let me just see if I can you know, show it up. You hook this section here to this end of the board of the encoder. Maybe other encoders are different, but this one, button number one is here. Just go along and hook up all your buttons. Now you could use a piece of cardboard if you wanted to um, work out the layout while you're doing this, just push it, cut a hole in the cardboard and push them through. But I'm alright to just have them on the desk. I didn't see any videos really hooking the buttons up to the encoder, so I thought this might be helpful for somebody else. Because I'm sure a lot of these sets are selling. I think they're about 10 to 15 pounds or 15 to 20 dollars on sites like Amazon and Banggood. So maybe a lot of people will buy them, maybe they won't know how to hook them up. Some people will get instructions in their um, boxes, depending on where they got the box from, but. Not me, governor, but it doesn't really bother me. I like 
figuring this stuff out myself anyway. So this is going to go into my arcade table. I'm going to make a little arcade RetroPie table. You could hook this directly to RetroPie to test them. But I thought it would be easier to use a test program on Windows. So what you do is... Let me see. I'll move you to a different... I'll move you to a different angle. There you go. That's in. Sharp enough for you. So, to find the test program in Windows, you have to hook the uh, USB end to your computer. So it's just the USB end from the encoder. And then go to your search bar, type game controller. set up game controllers and it'll pop up the joysticks they have I suggest if you've got any other joysticks joypads unplug them it makes it more straightforward you go to properties and it'll bring up this test page and you can see this is for your joystick and this is for your buttons so if I wiggle the joystick now you can see if I'm actually good upside down but um, turn around the buttons Try and get this in shot. It's a bit dark in here. I'm sorry about that. You can see when I push up, it goes up, down, left, right. So you can test that it's working. It's working perfectly. Because, and then if I start pushing random buttons, it says one, three. Four. So just go along and push all the buttons that you have hooked to your encoder. So I've got them all hooked here. You can see. And if you look, you can see. You can see the screen. The buttons light up. See. So just go along and make sure they're all working. They've all got. They're all connected properly. It's doing completely fine. And there you are. I found that this is the easiest way to test it because it's just a little program that runs on built into Windows generic USB controller properties. And that's all you do. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And you'll see more videos from me. Got any comments, questions, things I'm doing wrong, things I'm doing correctly, let me know in the comments. Goodbye.